Hey guys, it's Loves to Loom here, and today I'll be showing you how to create this super cool hidden secrets bracelet. This is create or was created by Suzanne HB, also on Instagram as Crazy Just Might Work. As you know, I've done many tutorials for her, and she has amazing designs. So please check her out and give her a follow for me. Um, this one here on the left is the original, which is two triple cap bands which is um, on each side and then this one on the right is just the variation there's many variations of this design that you can do but this one here um, each side has four quadruple um, cap bands so um, there is quite a few ways you can mess around with it but today I'll just be showing you these two variations and I may mention how to do um, other ones as well but without further ado this one does take approximately 120 bands depending on your wrist size and if you go with this one it takes about 130 so let's go ahead and get started to make this bracelet you need one loom one c-clip and your hook you will only be working with these very two front pins, so you can remove one of the bar pins if you'd like. Have the opening facing yourself. Um, for the variation designs, it's good to have like a small um, crochet needle. You don't need it for the original, but for some of the variations, that definitely helps. Um, and for this design, we are working strictly with cat bands. So you can put them on your hook and then slide them onto... You know the other band, like you know how you have the cap band and you slide it on, you can do it that way. But that actually drives me absolutely insane <laughs> doing that. So I'm going to actually show you guys a different way. So what I'm going to do, the first thing we need to do to start this is we need to get two triple cap bands on this right pin and two triple cap bands on this left pin. So I'm going to start with green and I'm going to wrap it around this pin here three times. So that's one two and three. I'm going to push that down. I'm going to do that again. One, two, three. And we're going to do the same on the left side. So that's one. I'm sorry if my hand gets in the way. Whoops. So one, Okay, I need to use my right hand. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Two and three. Okay, so <laughs> there we go, finally. And add one more. One, two, and three. So you just want to make sure that you have two triple cap bands on each one of these pins. And now we're going to grab white, or if you have like clear jelly, that works good too. And we need this doubled. So you can either do it on your fingers or put it on your, whoops, or put it on your loom and um, wrap it around twice. I'm going to use my fingers. I feel like it's a little bit easier. So just take this band, stretch it out, and you're just going to wrap it around your fingers once like that, which makes it a double cap band. Place it on your loom. Like so. I'm just going to straighten it out. It's a little pet peeve of mine. Okay. So this, the way I'm getting ready to show you is the way that I like to do it because that's just how I like to do it. <laughs> but for all of you who do not mind doing it from the hook um, to the bands, I'm going to show you how to do that. So if you prefer, you can do it this way as well. Um, take your hook, wrap it around three times. So we have it on there once. Wrap it around, that'll be twice, and one more will be three times. I'm just going to push that down. We're going to add another one, two, three. We need two more because we need a total of four. One, two, whoops, three, and one more. For the very first time, we need four bands, and then for the rest, like four bands on here. But if you, once we, after we do the first one, it's going to be two on each side. Um, but if you're doing it like me, it's going to be the same how I did it here. But if you're doing it on here, you're only going to have two at a time to transfer it. 
So anyway, hopefully I'm not confusing you. If you are doing it with your hook, take your band, double, double it like that. And you're going to need to slide all these bands from the hook onto here. So you're going to want to hold it with your left hand. And then you need to slide all of your cat bands onto the white band. So I'm sure everyone has done this plenty of times. And see, that's why I don't do it this way. Because I'm no good at it. <laughs> but that's how you can do it if you want to do it that way. It would take me an eternity if I did it like this. But you need to get them all on there. Like so. So I know I lost one, but I'm just trying to give you an example. So you would have them all on there like that. And then, of course, you would just place this onto your loom. I'll show you back here. There's one side, and there's another. So you can do it like that, or you can do it like how I did it up here. You put the cat beans on the bottom, and then you're just going to go in here, starting on the right side, and bring the cat bean up, doing the same on the right side, bring the cat bean up, and now do the same on the left. It doesn't matter if you... Like, I only grab two bands. I just push my hook in. However many I grab, I bring up and over. And then just grab the remainder, bring those up and over. Like that. And then I kind of just twirl it and squish it a little. Um, we can always mess with the bands later if it looks, like, crazy. Because I know when I made the first one, it was, like, bands were sticking out. But you can fiddle around with it later so it looks nice and neat. But as you can see, they both end up the exact same way. And this was so much easier for me to do than, than that. But for you guys, it might be easy. So without wasting any more of your time, I just wanted to give you the option of how you wanted to place them on. Now what we're going to do, now that we have the four on here, we're going to take another double cap in. So take your white, double it on your fingers, place it on your loom. And we're going to loop the bottom bands up and over. So just grab the two bottom whites, bring it up and over on the right side, doing the same on the left side, like that. Um, now, from here going forward, we're going to be adding two triple cap bands on each side. So two will go on this side, and two will go on this side. Um, how Suzanne taught me was you once again place them on your hook, and then you would pop it off like this and have to slide them on. The way that I'm going to do it is a little different because as you can see I'm no good at doing it that way. So I do it like this. I remove the right side. I just bring it forward to the left or wherever. You just need to move it out of the way. So I hook it up there for now. And I'm going to go to yellow next. And I'm just going to add my triple cap in here. So wrap it around three times, push it down, wrap it around three times, push it down. So there's my two there, so I'm now going to reach, let me lift it so you can see. I'm going to reach forward, pick this back up because I placed that there just like as a holder. And now I'm just going to place it back on my loom, like that. So before I do anything on this side, I need to do the same on the left. So I'm going to pick this up, put it up here for a second, like that. And now I'm going to add my two triple cap bands on this side. So adding one, two, and three. Just don't forget to uh, wrap it three times. All right, so now I have my two triple cap bands on here as well. So I'm going to pick this back up, and I'm going to bring it back down and place it back on the loom, or on this front pin, like that. So now we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to bring the cap ends up and over. So I'm just going to push my hook in there. It doesn't really matter how many you grab. Bring them over, and just keep doing that until you have them all over on that side. Do the same on the left side. Just make sure you're not grabbing the white. 
like that. Just push it down a little bit. And now we're going to add our double cap band on with the white again. So twist that like that. And we're going to place it on. After each time that we add the bands, or each time you add the cap bands, you're going to add the double white cap band. And then we're going to loop the bottom bands up and over on the sides like that. And then I'm going to remove this from the right and move it up here just to get it out of the way. And I'm going to add my next cap band. So I'm going to go to orange, wrap it around three times, adding my second band. I'm going to bring this back down. I'm going to take it off the left and move it up here to get it out of my way. And I almost lost the band. And now we're going to do the same thing over here. So adding it on. I have to turn it a little bit. That, <laughs> the camera's a little awkward and in my way. Sorry if my hand got in the way there. So once again, I have my two triple cap bands on each side. So I'm going to grab this from up here and bring it back down, placing it back on my loom or my front two pins. I keep saying that. And now we're going to bring the um, cap bands up and over. So just stick your hook in there. Grab the cap band, bring it up. Do the same on the left side. And it's mine's like facing the back, but I'm just going to push it through the front. There we go. Put, bring it down. Like I said, if your bands look loose or tighter in some spots, don't worry. We can certainly fix that later. We're going to go ahead and add our uh, double cap band. Like so. And now we're going to loop the bottom up and over. And now we're going to do that all over again. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And if it's in your way, just push it to the side. Now I'm going to go to red. Wrapping that three times. Adding my second cap band. Wrapping that three times. Bringing this back down. And now I'm going to move my left side. Adding my cap bands onto the left side. Okay. Bringing my bands back down to the front here. Like so. And now I'm going to loop this again. So I'm going to just bring all my cap bands over. Doing the same on the left side. Like so. I'm just going to flip this to the front. It's very flexible. Give it a little pull. And if like at the end, I'm going to show you this, but I noticed if some bands are like looser than others, if you like stretch it out, you can kind of like twirl them and mess with the bands to get them looking neater. But you should probably wait until the end and just kind of fix them all at once. Um, but for my one example bracelet, see this one I used white and you can kind of see it a little bit. But this one I used clear. I thought that worked brilliant, brilliantly. <laughs> Or perfectly, I should say, because you can't see the clear. So that was cool. But yeah, this is literally what I do to make this. Instead of, like, pulling it off and trying to slide them on. Because I would probably be here for a long time if I did it that way. But you're just going to keep repeating that process. So add that double cap in. 
bring it over the sides move it out of the way for a second add on your cap bands I'm going back to my green Oops. I'm bringing that back down Moving the right side, or left side. <clears throat> Sorry, I have to turn it so that my hand's not hitting the camera. And once you bring your white back down, you bring over the cap bands. So this is actually fairly easy. It may take a little bit longer if you um, do the original method as far as sliding it from the hook onto the band. Unless you're familiar with doing that. I don't do it that much. So it's like not very easy for me. But that's how you do it. So I wanted to just show you one way. Like I said, you can stretch it out like this and kind of just like pull on the bands and like twirl them a little bit to get them even. Because sometimes some get tighter than the others and it doesn't look as clean. But if you just keep messing with them and figure out which ones are sticking out more than the others, then you can get it to lay like nice and clean and tight. So that is the way that you do the original Hidden Secrets. Um, I'm not going to complete the length of the bracelet. I just wanted to show you guys how to do it. And then when you're ready to close it, say that was my last one. It's super easy. If that was my very last one that I was laying, I would just take one more white cap band or white single band. I would cap it like that. Whoops. Make sure it's doubled. I would lay it on here like this. Bring up the sides. And then just take one side and add it like that. And then you would just slide your hook down in here and apply your C-clip onto here. And then you can just come down to the other end. And I just go to the middle and just split it like that. And that's where you add your C-clip onto the white band in there. So I think that's super duper easy. Um, but now I want to show you how to do another variation. So of course if you are, well you, I'm sure you are completing your bracelet, you can definitely hit pause um, and then complete your bracelet. But I just wanted to show you the variations that you can do. So that was the original Hidden Secrets with the two triple cap bands on each side. And the one that I'm going to show you right now is the uh, variation of the Hidden Secrets, which is four quadruple cap bands, which means I have it wrapped around four times. So, what she did is you take one single cap band this time. We're not doubling it. So instead of it being doubled, it would just be a single like that. But first we have to add on our cap bands to here. So I'm going to do it the same way that I did it before. Or you can use one of your crochet hooks or even your regular hook, which might be a little hard with that many, but you can certainly try to do it that way. Um, and you can do it the original way, or you can do it my way. The first time we're going to add um, two and two. I believe. Let me see. No, I'm wrong. It is going to be four and four. Sorry. So I'm going to use the same colors. So I'm just going to wrap it around four times. One, two, three, and four. You can use regular bands, but I find, and um, Suzanne finds that the jellies do work better. So I have it wrapped once, two, three, and I don't know why I came to the other side because I need a total of four on this side. 
So I have one here. I need to add three more. So one, two, three, four. And just keep pushing them down. I recommend having your four bands set out so you don't lose track of how many you've already put on. Because I have done that. So I have three and I need one more. It does start to get a little snug this way, but it's still easier for me to do it this way. And four. Now I have one here, so I need to finish adding them. Remember this time they're getting wrapped around four times, so we need a total of four bands wrapped around four times. Now it can get confusing. Two, three, and four. Now I don't even know how many I added. I think I've added four. I'm not quite sure, but we're going to go with it. <laughs> All right. So you should have four cap bands wrapped around four times on each pin. You're going to take one single white band. We will not be doubling it. You're just going to lay it straight across like that. Now, because there's so many, I recommend holding, getting a good grip for this very first one because you don't want your white band to fly off. So I would make sure that you have pushed these down as far down as you can go. And I know it's hard because there's so many bands on there. And then apply your single band, holding on to it. We're going to do the same exact thing that we did the first time. Just put your hook in. And I recommend not grabbing too many. I would only grab a couple so that your band does not fly off. Because with it being so many and so tight, this band does want to pop off. See, it's already falling off on me. So Let me try that again. I'm just going to try to grab like one or two bands to start with. There we go. So that was a bit challenging. So perhaps maybe for the first one, you may want to use your hook. If you find that you're having trouble getting all of them on. Once you get that first one over, it seems to be quite easy to get the rest. Coming over to the left side, we're going to do the same thing. Just make sure you're holding on to the white band. to get them over. I'm just grabbing like two at a time. All right. And I'm just going to stretch it a little bit and roll it with my fingers. Just kind of helps it get that cool shape so it doesn't look all messy. Push that down and just like we did with the first one, we're going to add another white band on, but remember we're not looping it. Sorry that that process took, well, I felt like it took forever. <laughs> um, but again, we're just going to loop the bottom band. So grab the white band on the right side, bring it up. Doing the same on the left side. We're going to bring it up like that. And we're literally going to do the exact same thing as the first time, except we're adding more bands and that this is not capped. So I'm just going to move this out of the way, bringing it up to the, Pin up, or yeah, pin up there. And I'm going to add my um, four cap bands onto this pin. Wrapping it four times. So two, three, four. Pushing it down. One. Two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One more to go on this side. One, two, three, four. Gonna grab it from the front, bring it back down. And now I'm going to move the left side up here. And I'm going to add my cap bands down here on my left side now. Just 
going to turn it a bit. One, two, three, four. It came loose, so I had to kind of do that one over. I need one more band, I believe. That's why I usually have them ready. So I have one. Yeah, I need one more. All right, so now that I have both of my cap bands, or all of my cap bands, I should say, bring your white band back down. Just bring that in the front there. And once again, now that we have this one done, it's a little easier because I use my thumb and I just like kind of press against this part here, which applies pressure to the white. As I go in, I'll turn it a little so you can see. And I just grab a few at a time, making sure not to grab the white, and just bring them over. So it's super easy once you get that first one over. As you can see, I struggled with that quite a bit. But once you get it on, it's smooth sailing for the rest of the bracelet. So as you can see, I'm just using my finger to kind of hold it over here. Just bring them over. Oh, whoops. Did not want that to happen. So I'm just going to move this over here for a second so I can reapply my band that just popped off. And now I'm going to bring it back over. Like that. And let's try that again. The main thing is just really holding on to this piece here because you want this white band to be as tight as possible so you don't pull it off like I just did. Turn it around, pull it a little bit. And I kind of just mess with it, stretch it out a little so they're even. And once again you can always fix that later. But there you have that done. Now we're going to add on our single white band again. Bring the bottom band up and over. Like so. And now we need to do that all over again. So I really don't like when loose pieces are sticking out. So I play with it quite a bit. But you can certainly do that when it's finished. And I believe um, Suzanne is going to be doing or showing maybe something on how to do the loophole, hidden loophole, which is the same um, type of design, except it's, I believe, five cat bands uh, wrapped around five times, which is super duper hard for me to do. So she's kind enough to do that. But, yes, yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys how to do, like, this version, which is this one here. This is the completed one. But, once again, um, you can really do as many variations as you like. This is the original one, which is the um, two strands. This looks very messy. I'm not happy with that at all because I didn't get to mess with it yet. But, here is the original so that is the two cap bands on each side, and then this is the four. 
So there you go. You can definitely mess around with either one of those. And I know this tutorial was much different than what I normally do. And this one I didn't make it long enough by accident, so I had to add a little thing there. But anyhow, hopefully I explained it well enough that you guys are able to make this super awesome bracelet because I really love it. It's just like unique looking. So yeah, um, definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and a big thumbs up if this helped you out at all. And just keep a lookout because I do believe um, Suzanne is going to have some things coming out with um, another variation of this as well. So once again, this is Suzanne HB's original design and she is crazy, just might work on Instagram. Check her out and give her a follow. And I will see you guys at my next video. So thanks so much, guys. Bye.